you had some historical matches, I guess, for bizarre reasons with Chris Benoit with the WCW title change just before he left the company. Uh, what was the whole deal with that? Simple. Chris, Perry Saturn, Dean Malenko, and Shane Douglas, they were starting up a petition in the locker room trying to get everybody to sign it to say, let's get rid of Kevin Sullivan and bring back Vince Russo because Vince Russo was making stars of a lot of undernamed people that weren't going to ever be stars. So um, I remember them coming to me, Terry Taylor at the gym that day, he goes, well, you know, we're going to put Chris over you today and he's going to take the belt. I said, I don't care. You know, I don't think it's a good decision, but it don't bother me at all. So during the match, they, you know, when they're going over, they, said, they came to me and said, Sid, he puts that cross face on you, we want you to slip your leg under the bottom rope. I didn't know why. I just did what I was asked. So then as soon as we came to the curtains, they fired him, you know. And I don't know why they did that to fire him, but they did. As soon as they fired him, and then Kevin Nash put it back on me the following night on Monday Night Nitro. It's probably one of the dumbest booking decisions in history. It probably was, for sure. What was he like outside the ring, and did you have any premonitions that he may have had a dark side to him? No. I'm going to tell you something, man. Chris Benoit to me, it, I'll never forget it. Uh, after it happened, I was just, I was in my front yard mowing, and I, I was sitting there going, man, what a gentleman Chris was. Then it hit me. He's not a gentleman, he's a monster. Now, Devin, I don't, this is just totally my opinion. You know, I'm going to go by what everybody was saying. Texas, he was sitting in the Javo and stuff like that. All right, we know at that time, if you got sent to ECW from Raw to SmackDown, you were getting your notice, okay? And that's what it looked like for him. Now, we got to remember, too, Chris had had three, four, or five tryouts with Vince and never made it. You know, now, let's just look at the circumstance. He's married another man's wife in the business, which is taboo. You know, he's about to lose his job. He's overextended himself. And the word depression is right there. I think his wife had a restraining order against him at some point. There was some police stuff going on. As well. Oh, was it? Yeah, there were some marital issues. Well, see, think about that. So now here it is. You know you're about to lose your job. Your wife's threatened to leave you. You got a kid. You know, and Chris was a quiet guy. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. But uh, it was just too much for one person. And that's what, guys, it's just, the business does that to people. And it might, it might not go out and commit mass murder but you either overdose yourself from depression or you do things to yourself that you that affects your family, you lose your wife. This is, depression's linked there, guys. The killing of the child is the, probably the worst thing that happened there. Not to say the killing no. of the wife was forgivable. No, both were horrible.